The Australian Government needs to push for the UN Security Council to reconcile and take action. Practically what this means, it means referring the situation in Syria to the International Criminal Court, introducing an arms embargo against the Syrian government, and applying asset freezes to key regime figures to ensure that those who would commit war crimes and crimes against humanity are brought to justice and punished accordingly. It's also critical that the UN Security Council send a message to all parties of the conflict and all sides that no matter who you are, you must protect the rights of civilians and you must not commit war crimes. Targeting civilians under any circumstances is absolutely unacceptable. Amnesty International has welcomed the Australian Government's support for the Women, Peace and Security agenda, and we urge other countries to take the same. We are also asking the Australian Government to ensure that further support is garnered within the international community for the Women, Peace and Security agenda. What it means is that women human rights defenders can be protected. It means that women's experiences in conflict can be brought out and also women's capacity to end violent conflict. It also means that women will be involved in peace processes and other political things that are going on that will affect them. And most importantly, it will ensure justice for women who have been affected by horrible atrocities. Currently the permanent members of the UN Security Council, US, UK, France, China and Russia, have veto power over all resolutions. An example is Russia and China exercising its veto power over resolutions that are designed to prevent the further widening of the crisis in Syria. What we've seen is the UN Security Council could have taken action months ago to prevent this crisis, and they haven't. We saw in 2009 massive amounts of human suffering at the end of the Sri Lankan war, again where the UN Security Council didn't take action. Amnesty International is calling on the Australian Government and other governments to ensure and support proposals that would see the veto power not used when it came to matters of war crimes, crimes against humanity or genocide. This would go a long way to preventing mass human suffering that occurs in conflict areas and zones. It's absolutely critical that the Australian Government is an advocate for the human rights of those abroad, but it's also important that we look to our own backyard. Our current policy on asylum seekers and refugees sees us palm people off to neighbouring countries, thereby handballing our international obligations to people in the Pacific and others in the region. The Australian Government can't at the same time handball its international obligations off while argue effectively for other countries to pick up theirs when it comes to Syria. Simply put, our credibility is affected by us picking and choosing which human rights obligations to uphold and which to ignore. The Australian Government needs to stop its ignoring its obligations to asylum seekers and start consistently and principally applying human rights.